All right, gonna do a quick solo of the boss and then tea room of the sulfurous wetlands. <clears throat> I already cleared out the activation for the tea room, so we're gonna start with boss and then head back there. Boss is pretty easy, you just kinda gotta know what to tank and what you can't tank. There are a lot of different phases though. Slow, small movements are almost always correct. Yeah, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, these things are a little, little sus. You just have to weave in between them. You can tank the tail, and it's not too bad. It's like 66 piercing or something. It's another slow rotation. More of this. Easy, slow rotations. Alright, now these guys showed up, so they're gonna send shots in, I think. And I guess, yeah, there they go. More of this. I'll tank the tail of any of them, but I don't want to tank the whole thing for sure. Okay, this is a big spiral. Normally I don't spiral, you can just weave in between, so you can spiral with it, or, wow that was quick, you can dodge in between them. If it does it again I'll do it. This is a back and forth, you gotta watch out for the bombs. Well, yeah, bombs do 113, it's not the end of the world. You don't want to tank a whole line of this, obviously. Tanking lines of shots, not usually good for you. Okay, these bombs are huge, honestly. I wouldn't worry too much about taking them. Okay, now this water. Never touch it. That is that is one of the big hazards in here, is accidentally running through water. Okay, these bombs follow you, and they go pretty quick. 73 damage is enough to be a threat at this speed. So you just gotta kind of keep moving. Okay, I believe these boomerang now. Yeah, so you gotta watch out for that for sure. Okay, bombs phase again. Uh, we didn't see some of the more threatening phases like the uh, full rotation phase, which, yeah, maybe next time. Ooh, key fairy. on right now for that. Now I'll just run back to the tea room real quick. Which is the spawn room after you've... that's the wrong way. After you've cleared a uh, little golden fruit from a tree. Which will be revealed after you kill the boss, but I found it on the run up, so... This dungeon definitely falls into the run-up is more dangerous than the bosses category. Okay, and now here is our tea room, or second boss. This little bit of back and forth is good enough for this phase, and then the real boss begins, where you chase arrows. Yep, so we get in front of the arrow, but not too close, because it's going to spray some bullets. And, yeah, that's basically the whole boss fight. It's a really easy boss. This, this whole dungeon's pretty pretty chill. Okay, now there's no arrow, but you still have to do the same. You can weave in between these as they split, but you can also just tank one or two. 123 damage is no biggie. And boss is dead. Pick up your loot, and you're good to go. Easy bosses, easy dungeon.